Um, welcome once again to my channel. Um, this video is actually a request from one of my subscribers to create an onion dome. So I decided to come up with this. Now you can see two of them right here. Now the difference between these two is that one has particle stripes and this second one has angulated stripes. Actually the stripes here are angulated at 15 degrees. So I'm going to start a draw the drawing afresh on a new page. So I come right here and click on this. Okay, first I will have to set up my drawing units. And I type U. Choose units. Okay, here I choose decimal right here, which is there. On insertion position, I'm going to choose zero. And the insertion scale is millimeters. It's already highlighted. Millimeters. That'll be okay for that setup. And again, I'll have to switch the view to front view. Choose front. And also the workspace. I'm going to choose 3D modeling. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to start by drawing a line of 100 units vertically downwards. Check the auto mode to hit that line vertical. Enter 100. Draw another line again to the right of 60. Enter. I have to move down a little bit and zoom in. Okay. So I'm going to draw another line again from this very point. Draw a line of 40. Enter. Then move this line down by 40. Click on move. Move this. Come down by 40. Right. Now I'm going to create a curve between these two points. And I'm going to use the arc command to do that. So I click on arc, choose this very point here and choose start end direction. Put here at the start and here at the end, I'm going to generate a curve. You can see that, but I have to uncheck the auto mode to choose a perfect curve I want. So I choose this, okay, then erase this line. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that curve here. So I come right again and click on this curve. Put here at the start and here as the end. I generate another curve. And I think this one should be alright. Okay, now I'm going to create another curve between this line and this arc. And here again, I'm going to use the circle command to do that. So I click on the tiny arrow beside the circle and choose tan tan radius. Locate the tangent point on this very arc. Locate the tangent point on this very line. And enter a radius of 10. Okay. Now with the trim command, I'm going to trim out this and also this very portion. Okay, now I'm going to reduce the length of this line, so I click on here, I'll reduce the line further, okay, that's right, now with the join command, click on join command and join all this up, okay, so I now have one holy line here, right, okay, now I'm going to make a copy of this, I'll move it to the left, right. Okay, because I'm going to use it later. Now I'll switch to southeast isometric. Okay, so here I'm going to draw a circle at the right point. Before I do that, I'm going to change the UCS position to right. Okay, now I'll move it away from here a little. Okay, now I'll Draw a circle, but then I'm going to change it to center radius circle. But here at the center point, I'm going to draw a circle of diameter 10. Enter 10. Right. Now draw a line from the quadrant point of this very circle, which is here, to the other quadrant point, which is this. Alright. Then 
this is an arc, a three point arc. You join this and this. So I come right on arc again and choose three point arc. Click here, first point, second point, and the third point right there. Okay, now remove this circle. Then with the join command, join all this and click join. All right. I'm not going to copy this to this, so with the copy command, click on copy command, copy this very one, click it from the other point, and drop it here. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to use the sweep command, the sweep command to sweep this very one along this very part. So I come right here and choose sweep. I like this, enter, and click on this very part. Okay, this is done. Now the next thing I'm going to do now is also do the same thing right here. I'm working on the two at the same time. Going to on sweep, sweep on, and choose this as a path. All right. Okay. Here I'm going to angulate this very one. This is one that has particle stripes, and this is the second one that has a angulated stripes. So I'm going to angulate this at an angle of 15 degrees. So I click right here. Click on the very object here, right click and choose rotate and locate this point at the center of rotation and enter 15 degrees 15 okay it is now angulated right next I'm going to now use the polar array commands to array this once so before I do that I'll have to change the position of the UCS to top so I come right here and choose top Choose top. Now move down to the polar array command. Array command and choose polar array. Click on this very object and locate here at the center. Okay. Now right click, choose items, and I'm going to enter 44. And exit this command. Here again. I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to click on polar array command. Click on this. With here at the center. Also right click choose items and enter 44. And exit this command. Okay, now let's look at the views in shaded form. You can see. can see how the domes now look like. You can see the domes. You can see how the domes look like now. Let's view it on realistic view. So these are the domes. Now I will have to apply colors on them. Let's apply colors. So I'm going to Turn it over, turn them over, and start with this. I'm going to start with this. Two, three, twenty-one, and twenty-two. So I will right-click, choose properties, and choose a color for it. Here I'm going to apply color green. So I click on this. On the color green. Okay, so that is done. I'm going to apply the same color here as well. So I'm going to start from here one, two, the two domes now completed. 
So the next I will do now is to use the union command union also apply union command on this. Okay, so here are now the two union domes completed. You see that two beautiful domes completed. So thanks for watching and please do subscribe for more of my tutorials. If you have any questions about this, kindly drop it on the comment box.